I'm a breast cancer surgeon, and most of what I do is I try to study the relationship between normal breast disease uh, and how it progresses through and becomes invasive cancer. And right in the middle of normal disease and invasive cancer is this entity called DCIS, which stands for ductal carcinoma in situ. And from the first time I became very interested in breast cancer, this really seemed the key to understanding which women get cancer and which women don't because it's kind of the, the intermediate point. And not all women with DCIS or ductal carcinoma in situ end up getting cancer, but if we could understand which of those women get cancer and which don't, that seems to be the key to understanding how to prevent cancer in the future. So the relationship between DCIS and invasive cancer is that if you follow women who are diagnosed with DCIS, and you don't do anything other than just biopsy them for the diagnosis, then you follow them for about 20 or 30 years, only about half of them will end up getting invasive cancer. And our knowledge right now is such that we don't really know who those women are. And a lot of the research that I and other groups are doing is to try to understand what are those changes that occur so that half the women never go on to progress to invasion. So the significance is that it really increases a woman's subsequent risk of developing invasive cancer. But I think it's really important to know that not all women with DCIS will, will go on to develop the disease. So the opportunity for us to, is to understand which women will go on to progress and which won't. And then if we can figure out a mechanism to turn off that switch, then women with DCIS would never really develop invasive cancer. And we wouldn't even have to treat DCIS. So it would make it a very different type of disease than we're currently treating it now. So the significance of DCIS as it is clinically is that we treat it very much like invasive cancer. Anyone who's diagnosed with DCIS is recommended to undergo some sort of surgery. For most women it will be a lumpectomy, but for some women it will also be a mastectomy. And if you put yourself in the position of the patient who's getting diagnosed with disease that may or may not progress, uh, and the doctor's telling you you may or may not need to have your breast removed, it's actually a very big decision for a patient to make and it would be wonderful if sometime in the next 10 years we would have some better treatment option for those women than recommending a mastectomy. So that's what I'm working on right now.